The Fish Harvest at Dawn by Anita Magsaysay Ho, one of our masters, male or female, one of the best. How much do you think this went for? 52.5 million. Ang Q Kok, fisherman. Try to guess how much. 65.4 million. Space Transfiguration, Hoya. Oh yeah. 112 million. What the heck? Why do people pay this much or why are artworks so expensive? Keep calm. Not all artworks are expensive. It's just media. It's news. Who would want to report on uh, a painting went for 3200 So that's why we don't ever hear of those affordable art in the news. And there is such a thing as affordable art, good affordable art. Look at this one, just 2500 But then it is a valid observation that most artworks are expensive. Uh, may, they may not go in the range of hundreds of millions like Hoya. Some paintings can go for 50, 60, 70,000, 80,000. And for us, like, it is still expensive. Why? For one thing, you have to remember a painting, it's unique. It's one of a kind. You're the only one. I don't know how many billions of people do we have right now? Seven billion. You're the only one who has that. At least that's supposed to be the way it is. Okay, if the artist has integrity, you're the only one who has it. And it's also about the law of supply and demand. If a lot of people want an artwork by a particular artist in the art industry, that means the prices will go up. And we have to admit that art is exclusive. It's only for the super duper rich, the super wealthy. Yes, there are artworks out there that, like I said, there are 2,500, 3,500, but what if you want brand name artworks like Malang Santos, like Maldemore? If you're not uh, one of those super duper wealthy and you really want to own one, you have to save up. So it's exclusive. It's not for everybody. And sometimes prices, they go up in a way you can say artificially because of herd mentality. Just because one person were known to be an art patron, we see him or her buying it. And then even though we don't like the artwork, we will buy just because he or she bought. And once an artist, especially a famous popular artist dies, all the prices of his artworks go up because there will never be another Malang Santos. And even if we buy those paintings just worth 5,000 and you say, oh, I can do that. The thing is, you did it, okay? And for most of the artists, it took them years, okay? And for some, like these, they um, invested at least four or five years studying it. And art materials cost a lot. So when you buy a painting, you, you know, you're not just buying the canvas. You're not just buying the colors in the canvas, but you're paying for the skills. And if you say, well, I can do that, well, then go ahead. Nobody's stopping you from doing it. And sometimes artworks are expensive because of context. Where are they in terms of history? How significant are they in a historical context? For example, this one. Yes, that it's just a black square amidst an off-white or beige background. And yes, that's very expensive. It is so expensive that it's priceless. And yes, yeah, you can do it. But then again, you did not. You're not the artist as well. Okay. Milovich is one of those revered masters in the world, in the history art world. He was imprisoned. He was 
exiled to Siberia by Stalin. So it's like owning a unique piece of history. And that's why it's very expensive. And you're also paying for the journey of the artist, of the person as an artist. It took him or her a lot of experience, a lot of pain, a lot of reflection to paint that perfect picture that you want to buy. This one by H.R. Campo, and this one, Elmer Borlon. It took them a long journey to earn the respect and the price tag. You're paying for their blood, sweat, and tears. And if you're buying it from gallery, a gallery is still a business with overhead expenses, so they need to recoup their investment. So one last thing, never ever ask an artist to do something for you for free. If he or she will offer it for free, then accept. But do not ask because they have bills just like us. They need to pay. Can you just imagine if you're a doctor and people expect you to offer your services for free. If you're selling hamburgers, nobody expects you to offer them for free. And if you're going to buy artwork, and I hope you will, even if it's just one piece for the rest of your life, and even if it's just 1,000 pesos, that's okay for as long as you like the artwork that you buy, please buy local, support your local artists.